So the latest version of the Blender branch for NVIDIA Omniverse is out, few updates, and let's go through some of the tips and tricks and some of the benefits of the new updated add-on. Now, of course, we can bake maps, which is absolutely fantastic, makes life a lot easier. However, if you do want to use materials, this is something that's starting to be incorporated. So they're starting to use Material X, that could be full of lies. NVIDIA are trying to use a standardized material setup and this is part of the Blender branch. So now we can semi have kind of not really ish complex material nodes and bring it over into Omniverse. Awesome. But I'm gonna be mainly focusing on the exporting process. So we've got two options. If we go this route of the nucleus and go export, we get a menu. However, you can go file, export, USD, and then it's all here on the right hand side. I like the other option, it looks kind of better. So let's go export and I'm gonna give it a USD file path. Now I'm primarily gonna keep everything by default. I am though gonna change the material print path from materials to looks. Now here's a little bit of an interesting thing about the triangle mesh. Now N gods, bad bad in omniverse, actually bad bad in general, but you've got the options to triangulate the mesh. However, if we triangulate the mesh, we get this kind of bubbling effect. So it's kind of like the smooth option, which is not what we want. We actually want that auto smooth looking at geometry. So this is where if we now not use triangles and let's go OK to export that. Yes, please redo it. And then we update. And now it looks fine compared to that bubbleness. Now it's really important to make sure that you don't have those N-gons. Just have good modeling practice. However, if you do need to triangulate the mesh, we can go into edit mode, select everything. Well, actually we'll deselect everything by pressing A, select, select sharp edges. Mm, Marco, go into edge mode, deselect everything, select sharp edges. There we go. Now I can do a control E, mark sharp now when we export it it's going to have all those edges marked as sharp now the reason why i changed the path of the material prim to looks rather than material is then when we come into materials and we've got this giant list i can click and drag let's select our material that one there sounds good let's press ok cool beans but now what's happened is it's added that material into the looks folder that's come across from blender uh, the looks folder is default for adding these materials down here. So now everything is automatically placed into the one spot. Now let's say I want to update a different material. I can just come over here and select the material we want to update, which is let's say shiny silver. And I want that to be aluminium cast. This one down here, we can click and drag and then come down into shiny silver and okay. And now it's going to replace all my shiny silvers with an aluminium cast, lovely. And then it's things where we can click on our materials and change some of the settings. For instance, the UV, we could probably make it a little bit bigger, um, but then you can kind of go through the material and add in a whole bunch of extra options. Now, one thing that is still being developed is the MDL material setup. So if we go into open MDL graph, we can see this is what the graph looks like at the moment. So all this on this node here, which is the principal PDF, PDS, BDSF for us, Blender users, is all over here on the right-hand side. For those of you who have been long around long enough, Semi looks like Blender internal. But if we come over here and select one of the materials that I imported, we can see this is what the material setup looks like. Now it doesn't have a displace node, which is fine, but you can see that they've put a lot of work into trying getting everything across. Now, not all the nodes are here, like ambient occlusion, for instance, but there's a video down in the description. If you want to click on that, that is the official Omniverse video, and that's going to have a lot more information about the materials itself. Also setting up skin shaders.